You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. Recently, at Marshbank Park, West Bloomfield Parks gathered the community for its annual Goldfish event, a day of fishing and family fun. We sent Splash reporter Sheena Monin to learn how Greater West Bloomfield residents savored this lively day on Cass Lake. This is Sheena Monin reporting for The Splash. We're at Marshbank Park where several lucky families get the opportunity to participate in a yearly catch and release Go Fish program. Let's go take a look at all the cool things that are happening here. For over nine years, West Bloomfield Parks has been making the sport of fishing accessible to people of all ages through their popular annual Go Fish catch and release event. So we're providing and making it easy for people. We have the food, we have the equipment, um, but it's not the, just the sport of fishing. It's just getting outside in the park and enjoying the time together. A lot of people say that that's their favorite part. Catching a fish is always a nice bonus. <laughs> Well, the park is fabulous for this event. There aren't very many public uh, fishing piers like we have here in this park. The park's large to start with, and that's one of the, its best features, certainly. Um, so you feel kind of like you're out in the middle of a lake when you're on it. It's a floating pier, so you actually do feel like you're out in the middle of a lake. It's lovely. The event at Marshbank Park draws a great mix of people, all intent on learning and experiencing something new. I saw it advertised and wanted to get my grandson down here to get him hooked on fishing. So we came out because we wanted to learn to try fishing, which we haven't done, and we had a pretty good time. We only fish once a year. We don't do much fishing, so we're still learning. That's why we're here. Plenty of staff and volunteers were on hand to demonstrate every trick of the trade, from baiting your hook to trying out a new style of fishing. So we're on the docks. There's mainly two different kinds we're doing. One is just fishing with regular old bobber. So how that works is what your bobber does is it sits at the top of the water column, and then everything below the bobber is what your fish can see. So we use the bobber to help us adjust our depth to see what the fish is going to eat. And then we also do jigging, which is one where we don't normally use a bobber. And what we do is we manipulate the line on our own to try to get the fish to eat it because our bait usually isn't live. I was head photographer. Daddy was in charge of the worms. My dad usually does it, but I've been starting to do it some more, but it's not a big deal. My dad did it for us. As always, West Bloomfield events are designed to broaden people's horizons and offer residents an enjoyable opportunity to try something new. Well, I get emails all the time about what's going on in West Bloomfield with their parks and rec, and we love all their parks. We go to the Nature Center, we do a lot of hiking, and we enjoy it very much. My favorite part was, even if you don't catch a fish, I was, it was still fun. Fishing is really fun. It's sometimes... You catch some, sometimes you don't. It's the thrill of when you catch them, though. As you can see, the families of West Bloomfield enjoyed a warm, sunny, and very fishing-friendly day. Reporting for The Splash, this is Sheena Monin. Thanks, Sheena. Nothing makes a bright, sunny day better than some fishing with the family. And if you'd like to see the other fun programs that West Bloomfield Parks has to offer, then you can visit their website at wbparks.org or give them a call at 248 Four five one one nine zero zero. Thanks for watching a segment of the Splash. To catch the entire show or other segments, watch us on Comcast Channel 15 or AT&T Channel 99, or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us on WBLD 89.3, the all-new Lakes FM.